Today we continue to address ourselves to an important subject and that is the subject of peace making and peacekeeping. The Bible says in the book of Matthew 5, 9, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the sons, the children of God, rather. In some of the translations, say the sons of God. And it becomes a very, very important agenda uh, in our country to plan and determine how we are going to mobilize peacemakers to forestall any effort by those who drive in conflict and any situation of disorder. And I want to challenge those in church leadership, those in political leadership, to understand that peace is priceless and we cannot, we cannot fail to guard peace. For all I know, we have had a lot of good things happen in terms of development and we cannot again uh, allow those within the political competition to drive Kenya into a grief of conflict because of greed for power. So I'm appealing to leaders, I'm appealing to church leaders to appreciate the call that we have from the word of God. That blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. You can be given that great title of being a child of God just because you are going to demonstrate a desire for peace. The peacemaking. Uh, our version lately in a commentary by Eriot's commentary distinguishes between the temper which is simply peaceable in James 3.17 and the higher form of uh, the same grace acting energetically upon others to be able to say with power to those who are bitter force that you are brethren. And I want to say this, even those who are in competition, they are all Kenyans and so they are brethren. And we must do all we can to cultivate a peaceful environment that will forestall any confusion and disorder even as campaigns are going on. Lord, I pray that men and women everywhere in this country can understand the value of peace and therefore work towards peacemaking instead of peace breaking. Pray you convict those that are within the political campaigns to be careful the words they allow to come out of their mouth. It's our prayer and our desire that peace will prevail in a great country, in Jesus' name.